Good evening and welcome back to another episode of Only One Way uh, and we waste absolutely no time in getting on with our work so the first thing we do is connect up the gas to the cooker. Uh, we have a number of priorities that we need to get through whilst we are here um, which basically just make it livable and fairly quickly so we need to dog proof we need to heat we need to eat and we need to have you know just general life things with the cooker connected we start on the next couple of priorities so as usual we have brought up a load of stuff in the car that i need to pack away so you can just see me in the bottom right there filling up the cupboards meanwhile phil is preparing to get the heater in place so he is prepping the back deck to be able to get into his little hole he spends an awful lot of time in this hole and he's not a very happy boy in there <laughs> So the heater is in place and we're just trying to work out the best way to get the exhaust on. It's very awkward, it goes underneath on this and we do actually have a handy dandy hole ready for it. But yeah, very, very awkward. So awkward in fact that Phil comes out of his hole for a little while to seal the back splash into place. Phil carried on trying with the exhaust but unfortunately it was just too much of a nightmare for him so I said you know look I'm slightly smaller I'll pop in and give it a go um, and I thought I'd got it uh, it turned out I didn't so in the end we swapped back and forth between ourselves a handful of times and eventually got there in the end um, yeah Phil won this one as is so often the case but I can't even say I loosened it for him you know like with a jar I can't even say I loosened it for him but never mind I gave it a go so uh, not been a lot of time for talking today it's mostly been doing but the uh, heater will probably be finished in a minute we've just got to finish off the last of the exhaust and then the uh, fill it up with fuel and that's it that's done so we've got heat so we won't get cold in the evenings which is good um, just been packing boxes away most of it's going under the bed at the moment and uh, so that means we can move about trying to get dog proofed as far as we can at the moment and uh, yeah for all its uh, hard work it feels like it's going well and uh, where are we today today is Thursday we've still got another five days five yeah five days so uh, I think we'll be ready I think we'll be good and uh, for all it's a bit nerve-wracking I'm so excited really unbelievably just so excited really looking forward to it catch you in a bit after my little chat with you guys i came back and found phil trying to get this lagging onto the exhaust pipe for the heater and uh, it's been my intention to have phil talk a little bit more to the camera um but none of this was usable material it was getting snagged up on everything and phil was not enjoying himself at this point so uh, yeah had to voice over this bit <laughs> Shortly after this, um, I take over and do it the female way in which I roll it from the end so I'm only dealing with something that's about an inch wide rather than the entire length of the material and uh, yeah, found it a bit more successful and it was just about long enough for what we needed to do. I did find I had to rewind it three or four times to get it there but we did get there in the end. And here you can see that the heater is now working. You can also hear it. Uh, bear in mind that the deck boards are lifted off at this moment in time, so it sounds far worse than it actually is because the deck boards provide some sound deadening. Uh, really pleased to have this heater working. It's been very reliable for us. We do know of some of the horror stories regarding these heaters, but as I say, we found them to be quite successful. So all in all, very pleased and gonna have some nice warm winter evenings. You happy boy? Got your heat? Well, you should be happy too, darling. You got heat as well. <laughs> Is it just me? No, I know, but you always worry about the heat more than I do. I just cuddle the dogs. <laughs> So as you can see we've got some little bits of daylight in the cover so uh, Phil's going on the outside and I'm gonna smear over a bit of sealant. Now in all honesty I expected this moment to feel a little bit more momentous which is the first lick of inside paint uh, however really it was more a case of needs must I wanted to get 
dog level painting done because as you well know you know we're not long until they arrive so yeah it didn't feel quite as good as I anticipated but enjoyable nonetheless I do actually quite like painting I particularly enjoy cutting in which I know is most people's least favorite part so yeah once again here I am admitting my weirdness to you all but there you go and yeah it's one of those things you initially start putting it on and you start going oh have I made have I made the right choices here I'm not so sure um, but actually once it had all dried absolutely love the colors and really really pleased with what we chose Good morning. So uh, we are up here already, bright and early, it's good. And uh, we sort of had a realisation last night that we've done all the urgent things. We have a bed, we have a sofa, we have a telly, we have heat, we have the ability to cook. It's all looking pretty good. So Phil was a little bit like, oh, there's still so much to do, but I don't know what to start with. That I said to him, well, why not have a go at doing the solar panels so that's what he's on today whilst I crack on with a bit more paint and get that finished off so how far do you think you'll get today yeah nice I think that's probably the best I'm gonna manage this is the worst bit actually because the rest of it hasn't got a lot of paint on it. <laughs> Excited to have the solar panels on? Hopefully. Well, they'll be completely off grid then. <laughs> The tool Phil Scott here is a polyabrasive disc and I have to say I'm absolutely thrilled with how well this brings the boat up but let's face it it should for eight quid a disc so we are using them sparingly and as a finishing off tool. And then for me it's back to more painting. Now you get on bud. Yeah, it's getting there, but... Looking good. going off as quickly as you put it on. It moves the hole. I need a protection coat there, isn't yeah. it? Wouldn't mean I'll be able to put two or three coats on it before it's uh, today. Yeah. Bit like when I was doing the front there, that was going off pretty quick. And now we're all painting. And so the pair of us paint until the end of the day. And so you'll see from the inside that not a huge amount has changed and it looks like utter chaos. Uh, but I've managed to get around first coating a lot of the dog level painting, which is a really good feeling. And it means it'll be a bit easier to move about with two dogs on board as well as two humans. And uh, yeah, feeling quite pleased with how it came together. It's also very nice that we'll be able to add the outside to a final pass through. It'll be the first time we've managed to really do that. And I'm just so glad to have you guys with us on this journey and your support means the world to us. So have a chat with us in the comments. We always enjoy that. We sit and read them of an evening together. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Work out how many much we need because I think I'm going to try and pick up of these for the brackets. Yeah. That's so. no, good.